everyone, um, just in case you haven't figured, I'm Shaw. I am um, I'm the blogger behind um From the Shadows I Review. And I've kind of been neglecting you all recently. So I thought that I would do something special. And by special I meant different. So this week's page ninety nine test is this blog. And right here, me looking at the words. But I realised not everyone might be able to understand my accent, so the actual text that I wrote will be underneath the video. Sorry. Um, I don't even know what that was. Um, so, I guess I should tell you the story because I have the choice of two books. Yay! Um, this one, uh, we did book one uh, the last time we did a page 29 test, and it's a two and one book. But I thought, well, do I do chat? Do I do book two or do I not do book two? And I decided not to do book two until I've read book one. And this is next to my TBR file. So watch out for my page 99 test of Leviathan. Mm -hmm. Um. So we went. The very first night will be Aldina, author of the Vampire Diaries. Um, this was three in one. We're on a roll, aren't we? Um, so we're just going to do Secret Vampire, which is book one. And how that goes. So, for those of you who aren't familiar with the Page 99 cast, it's, um, it was created by Ford Maddox. Ford as a test book book you want to read. So instead of just buying it and then being disappointed, how are you some books have already bought? It's kind of gay. Oh, yeah. Uh, page 99 is point because apparently it's the author is in their stride. They, they, they know what they're doing with the story, they know where they're going. But we're not so far in that we're going to hit spoilers and think ah oh, I just ruined the book for myself um so what we're doing is page 99 yeah. and so far it's been pretty accurate I've read a couple of the books that I did a page 99 test for and reviewed they um went pretty much as I they would from page 99 which is good so this might be something to do in the bookshop. Imagine explaining that to the owner. Yeah, I'm just reading page 99 of this book because I can. And now I won't buy it. Um, so, the thing is, yeah, on the back of the book is the thing I normally do next. And there are two blurbs. The one on Goodreads and the one on the book. The one on Goodreads is slightly more detailed, but the one on the back of the book is more mysterious. So I'm going to read both, and then we're going to compare both, and we're going to see how that goes. Okay, so the Goodreads synopsis. In Secret Vampire, Poppy thought the summer would last forever. Then she was diagnosed with terminal cancer. Now Poppy's only hope survival is James, her friend in secret love. A vampire in the night world, James commit Poppy and Morgan, but first they must risk everything to go against the laws of the night world. Mm. Um, so that's that. This one is, in Secret Vampire, Poppy is dying, and it seems that James can offer her only chance for survival. Is the price too high? Okay, so they're both pretty flip. Um. I'm thinking it's because it's an omnibus edition. We, they had to get three sets of blurbs on there. And so they just as little as possible, essentially, to make that happen. Um, and I do think that it suffers because of that. Because we don't really get a clue of the story and what is actually going to happen. It's just like a quick, oh, this is happening, you should read it. Be because we've all picked it as well. Yeah. Um, the, the, as I said, the Goodreads one is more, 
more detail. There's slightly more to it. You kind of get more of the. But it it kind of it goes to the wire piano genre. You know, it really if you like vampires, fully in love, it's your kind of book. Whereas the one I have is kind of more mysterious, like. Mm. And of the two, I prefer mine. I like the mystery element as opposed to the PNR element. Because whilst I do like paranormal romance, I do like action more. Um, I I don't think that the book where I paid attention to the blurb when I bought it, I think I bought it for the name, having read The Vampire Diaries. Of the original four and so I thought I like her book and I didn't really think about it okay that's the cover now here's the cover okay now it's it, it it's a pretty girl with a moody camera with a bit of pretty near there um it's nothing special there are so many other books with similar covers and if I, if I could probably pull down from places but how long the more just to go on um and probably oh morgan the bank baker is here as as I said, very common. Um, I do think, you know, by the way, I'd like to see a, a cover artist actually do some design, make a book more individual. And um, then when you see a book, kind of say, oh, that cover is beautiful. But I've never seen anything like it before. Um, I do think I wouldn't be so about it if it was a standalone book but because it's a omnibus you know if this girl's potty or she's from one of the other two books she could be anybody uh, why, why 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 am i looking at her um exactly but you know it makes no sense but as girls go first I'm very jealous. Um, her eyes are absolutely beautiful. They really don't on the I was so distracting. You know, because she's all white and there are these big colours. And, and so yeah, bits of her face stand out. The, the plot very boring. It's very simple. It doesn't really do anything for me. And that's a shame because we all know I like a pretty bomb. I I like I like to see them and think I wish I had that on my computer. And I kind of don't most of the time. Oh, okay. on to the paragraph. I know it's meant to be the whole page, but have you tried typing out a page of a book one hand? It's hard. So we do we do a paragraph. So here's the paragraph. Again, she felt the beginning of the reaction James, but just as she was chasing it, he gently pulled her to his back. You better take any more tonight, he said. And his real word his real word voice sounded strange to Poppy's ears. It wasn't as much James as his mental voice. And now she couldn't really feel him properly. They were being the isolation was awful. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't. The more I read it, the more I'm like, oh, I don't know. It it feels like a really over dramatic white moment and oh, we're all together. So on and so forth. Um, so it's effective. Because overall, 
is seeing us in form. Now, why was a BT crier? I think it's safe to say that Poppy has been drinking James's blood. Sexy. Um, it's, it's an idiot, I can see it. But at the same time, because I don't know anything about the characters, I can kind of only the risk and blood and, you know, the kind of, yeah, without the faces and that. And and so it it's not something that I'm thinking I can envisage fully at this point. Um, the end paragraph is more intriguing, and I have to say the idea that you can feel him properly is. Not one I've encountered before, but I am thinking telepathy, you know, some sort of mental connection between the two of them. And I kind of like that, but taking it away, I'd have to read the book to see how I felt about that. Um, mental voice and real voice. Such an odd and yet simple way of differentiating. I, I personally would rather have had something else said instead of real voice. It just sounds so childish. Um, it, it just it doesn't feel like it's a young adult book. It feels like it's catering to a young. It feels like something someone would say to a younger person. And. I'm 22. I know, I know I read young adults, but I'm 22. I would like a certain degree of maturity. The last two sentences, they were two seconds. The isolation was awful. It feel whiny to you. It's like, and that's frustrating. It's, it's not like he's gone away. It's not, it's not she's been being put in, in a room on her own and she can never see him again. It's, it's, you know, it's just, he ain't sucking his blood anymore, and you know, it's get over the box, it's still right there. Um, I guess, because we, well I personally didn't really get anything from the entire page, no mind the paragraph, but I kind of feel it's the kind of book that you have to read to get, but from the paragraph, I'm kind of wondering if it's worth it. It kind of feels like cliche, what we'd normally expect from this sort of thing. And I'm not sure if I'd have bought the book if I'd done this. Now, that could be a problem. Because we all know I don't hold back on negatives. Or positives. Or nearness. Um, I guess it's just going to make an interesting review. So, we've been through this. We've got the paragraph, we've got the cover, we've got the blurbs. So, tell me, what do you guys think of Secret Vampire? Comment down on the comment section. Or you can tweet me. I'm at Charmaine Elaine. Um, which is spelled, it shows on my signature how it's spelled, so you know, search me. Or I'm on Goodreads and there's clicky links on the side of the blog somewhere. I can't think where else to top of my head. Anyway, that's this page 99 test. This has been fun. Um, and if you guys like the vlog, maybe we'll do it again sometime. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think of the whole vlog thing. You know, and if you want to hear from me more. Or if you'd rather I just shut up and wrote. Okay, so, maybe see you soon. Bye!